Hi, welcome to a new Java interview question. In this question, you are given a string as input and you have to write a program to find out if it is a palindrome or not using Java streams. So one way of finding out whether a string is a palindrome is by using two pointers, one pointing to the first character and another pointing to the last character. Then we iterate through half length of the string and compare each character. If the characters are same, we say it's a palindrome, else we return saying it's not a palindrome. So we'll use this technique to solve the question using Java streams. So let's write a function first. We'll write a function is palindrome, which will take our string and return a boolean. So our result will be a boolean Next we need two pointers, the first one a front pointer pointing to the first character of the string and another one the back pointer pointing to the last character of the string. And we have to iterate till half of the string so we'll use a while loop and say fp is less than string dot length divided by 2. So this will be our for loop. After this we'll check whether string dot car at front pointer is equal to string dot car at the back pointer. If it is equal we'll set the result to true. Increase the front pointer and decrease the back pointer. Else, if the condition fails, we will return the false from here. Let's format this and do a sys out here. and run our program. So we get a true. Let's run it with one another input saying India. And it is false. India is not a palindrome. We'll use this same logic in solving the problem using Java 8 streams. So let's write a function palindrome using Java 8 streams. We'll pass the same string here and let's create our method. So if you have seen my previous Java interview questions, in streams we get something called int stream. And it has a function called range which takes a inclusive and exclusive range that here we'll give it as zero and the end will be string dot length so we are going to have a range from zero to the end of the string we can simply do a for each here and give system dot out dot print and run our program and you see we get access to the indexes of our string now we can simply copy this and paste it here if you do a dot you will find a couple of useful methods here one is all match which takes a predicate it will match the predicate and if for every element the predicate matches it returns true and we have something called none match 
which checks if the predicate is failing. So for this we are going to use all match and we have access to our indexes as you can see here and those will be the positions or the indexes in our character array which is our input string and here we will do the same thing dot car at and we have access to the position which will play the role of the front pointer as here and let's copy this part and simply add it here so we'll have access to our back pointer we'll check if dot caret back pointer minus position to get the back pointer is equal to true and if you see all match actually returns the boolean so we can simply return from here we don't need this line so let's change the return type and then let's simply copy this paste it here replace our method the new one let's delete this and run the program and you see we get the same output so this is how you can solve the problem using java 8 streams thanks for watching